More than 16,000 people have sought shelter after two days of intense fighting in South Sudan's capital, Juba. Many of the displaced take refuge in a UN compound next to the airport. Aid workers say the number of refugees is rising and food supplies are running low. The UN says up to 500 people have died in clashes between rival army factions. You can find a lot of bodies all over the place. So I had my cousin over there. He's not even being buried right now. And I had a lot, just a lot of friends that I've been there with them for a couple of days. Now they're all gone. Many more people have been wounded as authorities try to regain complete control of the city after what they say was an attempted military coup by the former vice president, Reich Meyer. The Juba government said it had arrested 10 major political figures and was hunting for its former vice president. U.S. Secretary of State John Kerry on a visit to the typhoon-ravaged Philippines urged for a peaceful and democratic solution. Political differences need to be resolved by peaceful and democratic means, and those have been hard fought for. The government should respect the rule of law, and the people of South Sudan should be able to realize their full potential in peace. South Sudan has struggled to achieve a stable government since becoming independent from Sudan in 2011. But instead, the all-rich country remains ethnically and politically divided.